Good morning and welcome to Herb Oracle Podcast, botanical divination with herbs, essences, flowers, and trees with your host, Herbal Marie. Let's start the day off pulling some oracle cards and getting a few messages. We can shoot the shiitake in a spiritual way-ish. And if you follow me on Instagram, I'll post a pic of the cards at Herb Oracle. Thanks so much for joining me. Here we go. So I absolutely love that my body woke up this morning at 630 just like it was supposed to, even though I had not had enough sleep. (laughs) Habits are fun like that. You're just like, uh, yeah, I don't know. I mean, my body just wakes up, has to go to the bathroom. Like, like we are just running like clockwork here. But that's okay because we can always sleep later, right? We can always sleep tonight. <laughs> Hopefully better than we did not sleep last night. So happy Friday, y'all. Um, remember to be you today because that is what makes you be beautiful. All right, so I'm trying to think better thoughts, even though, like, holy moly, it is going to take a a little bit of persistence. So last night, um, I kept having this reoccurring thought, and it's like one of those thoughts that jump in your head. It's like this oracle message comes out of nowhere, but it's exactly the right one that you need to hear. And the message that I heard last night that made me go, wow, yeah, you're right, was it's dangerous to leave what you hate. It's dangerous to leave what you hate. So we have all in, on some level actually experienced this. Like you leave one job that you're like, I hate this job. Um, And then like you get another one, you're like, oh my God, I hate this job too. Um, You leave one boyfriend who, I don't know, this wasn't the right thing, but like, and then you would literally attract like another Joe with the same bad quality. Okay. If it's dangerous to leave what you hate because you're complaining about it, you're hating it, you're focused on it, you're focused on it. Whatever you focus on, that is what the universe gives you. I think that's the trick here. So it's really dangerous to leave what you hate. Like if you're hating on something, you're still leaving with that vibrational attraction. Like, yeah, you're leaving it because you hate it, but you're still thinking about it. You're still focused on it. And you're actually going to get more of the same type of feeling in your life. So if you're constantly feeling annoyed, you know, by something, it's probably better to clean up that energy and then go. Oh, I'm not telling you not to go. Like you're going to go. You're leaving. (laughs) But it's dangerous to leave when you're hating, when um, you are negatively focused. So it's dangerous to leave what you hate. This actually prompted me to write in my book of positive aspects, which you know, has turned into a maybe not so book, a not so positive aspect book. Like I wanted to start this journal just to really try to like focus on the good stuff. But sometimes I have to focus on the bad stuff to get to the good stuff. And that's our, that was our message too this week. You know, we have to dive into our darkness to find the light, but I'm going to read you my journal. And then, um, what we're going to do today is something a little different. Um, I, a couple of years ago, I wrote down all these quotes. There's 75 of them. All these quotes. And it actually was a game that my friends and I played. Like, they would pick a number in their head. Like, I would say, think of a number and just whatever pops in your head, you know, go with that. And they'd be like, okay, I just thought of the number 22. And then I'd look up in the book and see what their fortune was for number 22. And it's... And in this book, it is, you don't have to explain anything to anybody about anything. (laughs) And I'd read in their fortune and like, we'd have a laugh and it was like just this fun game. But I always kept a hold of this book because there are pretty much 75 really good thoughts for me to think or remember or be reminded of 
for the most part. There's a couple humorous ones that I threw in there because, you know, why not? It was a game that I made for my friends and I. Um, but anyways, I'm going to read those quotes today because it is so important for us to start flooding our tiny little monkey minds with good thoughts because I don't know about you, but my point of attraction just totally sucks ass. Like I say that with so much love to myself, like, I'm sorry, honey, but like you think shit. Um, so I really have to, like I said the other day, get back to basics And, um, yeah, because I don't want to keep pulling experiences to me that I hate. I really don't. So anyways, this is what I wrote in my journal last night. I'll read it to you. We're just doing a little something different today. Um, if I don't, if it doesn't take like a whole hour, I'll, we'll pull a card. Oh, what, who am I talking to? Of course, we're going to pull a card at the end. Um, but we're going to, I'll read this to you and then we're going to dive in and read pretty much all 75 of those quotes. It'll go fast. All right. So it's dangerous to leave what you hate. Start loving it up. All of it. You know better than to hate and harp. Vibration doesn't leave. It will reverberate into your future. What do you want to send forth? More of the same shit? I think not. More love and light? I think so. Don't leave when you're in a state of hate. Forgive, release, appreciate. Then you can go in love. In love with life and all the lessons in love with experience and all the blessings. Leave in love for more love to love. So that was my little journal entry last night. Um, Trying to remind myself, you know, yeah, it's dangerous to leave what you hate. So duh, this marital situation that you be hating on, girl, like, wow. Like, there is just this fury that's ready to throw mason jars. Um, And it got triggered in me last night um, over money. I won't lie. It was over money because I saw that he had bought himself a new t-shirt when he had not like contributed to any groceries this week or, you know, brought home bananas for the kids or paid the garbage bill. So like, why the F are you buying yourself a new shirt, daddy? So anyways, there literally was this rage and it gets triggered at me and I know that's something that and that I have to work on because like I do have um totally I have the potential to throw things and um I have a little bit of a temper and um I know I do but you know what like it doesn't like everyone has the potential to have a temper like it doesn't need to be triggered right so if it's being triggered if my temper is being triggered It's because my life is mirroring back to me, my vibration, and I don't like it. I don't like it. So, um, you know, I can't be like, it seems like I'm blaming him because I am. But like really what it is, is that I need to clean up my vibration. One, because like I I created this mess apparently. And, um, And, you know, maybe... I have not made the best money choices. Do you know what I mean? Like it's when you think about mirroring, like you're like, what do you mean? Like my life is mirroring back to me. Like I didn't do that. But like, yeah, maybe you actually did on some level. Um, And then it's just more obvious when somebody else is doing it. But actually, yeah, totally. I make bad money calls all the time. I've got drawers of them, right? Like, did I need to buy all these Oracle decks over the past few years? Probably not. Like maybe there is a little like, you know, guilt or whatever inside of me and, or just, you know, I wish I wouldn't have. And so then like, yeah, when I see other people, my future ex-husband making really bad money choices, um, you know, I just, I don't know. And the fact that like it is irresponsible, isn't it? But I, I'm really trying to take, I'm really trying to look at it from my vibrational point. It's easy to judge people. It's easy to point fingers. It's easy to blame and all that. But 
I really want to start approaching my life wholeheartedly with cleaning up my vibration. So that is why I heard it's dangerous to leave what you hate. So if I think I'm going to get anywhere um, in my future in a good place, if I want good things to come to me, if I want good things to come to me, good people to come to me, eventually a good, beautiful, delicious man to come to me, then I need to clean up my energy right the, <laughs> you know it, right now. Like it starts right now. So yeah, start loving it up. All of it. All of it. Even him. Especially him. Mostly him. Send good, positive vibes his way. Appreciate that, yeah, he may have not paid <clears throat> one tiny bill, but apparently everything else is paid up because the lights are still on, right? And nobody's coming to, to you know, kick us out of the house. So hello, appreciation for that. Because yeah, I do know better than to hate and harp. I'm no dummy when it comes to the laws of the universe. I've been studying this stuff for a long time. Like, I need to put into action what I have learned, I need to put into practice, um, like literally, like don't just keep it in your head, like yeah, yeah, I need to, I need to think better thoughts. No, like actually think the better thoughts, please, because vibration doesn't leave, okay? It will reverberate into your future. Whatever you think about, you're putting out there. And it doesn't just dissipate when it leaves you. It makes ripples, ripples in the universal ocean. So are you making love ripples? Or are you making hate ripples? Do you want confrontation and, and frustration and annoyance in your life? Or do you want love, peace, joy, appreciation, bliss, bitch? <laughs> so yeah, is this a really good question? Like, what do you want to send forth? more of the same because it ain't working this ain't good or some love and light you receive what you give you receive what you give you receive what you give so what are you giving um so yeah just a big old red flag don't you dare leave when you're in a state of hate clean up your vibration and then leave oh you can go you're going but let's go in love so forgive release appreciate okay be in love with your life and all the lessons be in love with the experience and seriously it's all blessings so leave in love to attract more love because the more love we've got it's just easier to love and to love and to love like when you have so much negative momentum just tell yourself it can actually I can flip this coin, I can flip this mofo and get it directed in a more positive light. All right, so yeah, so money is definitely um, a big, um, I guess, issue for me personally because, 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 because I've become so freaking financially dependent on him. Um, yeah, 15, 16 12, 13, I don't know how many years ago, how long we've we been together. Yeah, he made a promise to me to take care of me. And um, and so, yeah, not working for all this time, it is a disgusting thing to be financially dependent on somebody. Like, I totally get why moms keep their jobs. Like, whether they have to or they just want to. Like, I get it. Like, I just couldn't do it. I really wanted to be, a, I just really wanted to be with my kids. But anyways... Yeah, just like being under the financial thumb, I really want to get out of it so bad. So now that the kids are older, I really am trying to think like, where could I work even for, you know, a couple evenings or something just to try to get some cash that's actually mine. And that, whoa, whoa, oh, you think that the podcasts make money? Oh, please pocket change if that like when I say another day another dollar that's a freaking joke I don't even make a dollar a day doing this no way <laughs> no way Herbal Marie just hit 10k plays pocket change seriously um I do have like 
15 patrons right now. That's, you know, you, you work the math on that, honey. Like it's not even a dollar a day a month. <laughs> so yeah, like this is, even though like I take it seriously, it's totally not quote my job. Um, finance, it doesn't respond to me financially. So yeah, like I really have to like think about cleaning up my money vibration and um, yeah, cause it, you get a lot of resent when um, you're codependent financially in a situation. So yeah, I got to really like quit running from dealing with my stuff and uh, start thinking those more positive thoughts at the same time, like deal with the negativity, understand why I do the things that I do, break down my patterns and uh, yeah, thinks more positive thoughts. But hey, if you are following my saga, that is my life, my lame life. Um, yesterday, I woke up with the drama. Like seriously, there was nothing to have drama about. My daughter woke up yesterday. This is what we talked about yesterday. So you have to go back to the day before and listen. But my daughter woke up yesterday. She was totally fine. She was. She may have gotten spooked a little bit, but like it wasn't... There was no trouble with her friend. That was a different friend from a while ago. Like uh, my future, hopefully soon to be ex-husband, um, combined stories and didn't get the full story, made his own assumptions. And um, yeah, like basically was just maybe trying to like look for something to make me look bad about. I do think that, but there was nothing there and my daughter's fine and happy and all is well. She did see, she saw a light orb and then she saw um, a, li a little old lady in our house wearing a floral pink dress with her silver hair and a bun. She saw an image of this out of her eye, so it just kind of caught her off guard, but like the more she thought about it, the more excited she got about it. That like maybe she saw one of her, her guides or a family member or just an energy that did that felt kind. But yeah, if you've ever seen anything, um, it does catch you off guard, right? Like you're just like, you freak out. Like one time I saw a light being, um, when I was a teenager and yeah, my first reaction was to completely freak out. When I looked back on it, I was like, Oh my gosh, like I, that is actually really cool. <laughs> so forgive our humanness. And last night, um, when I was not sleeping, when I was totally wrestling with negativity and fury and, and frustration for reacting. Okay, when I react badly, I do I do wanna I always feel like, oh, I wish I wouldn't have done that. But um yeah, I was really like so annoyed with my humanness and humans last night. Both other humans and myself as a human, I was completely annoyed. All right, so let's blow the dog hair off of this desk and dive into this little book. So Number one is think about your blessings, focus on the positive. So it's really important. Um, let's make a list every damn day about things that, that we're thankful for and we feel our blessings and let's just focus on the positive. Go walk in the room and just start naming things that are positive and that you feel like you have been blessed with. Number two, Know that your kindness has a ripple effect in the universe. Everything you put out makes a difference in the world. So let's put out kindness. If you're going to put out, <laughs> please let it be in kindness. Number three, be as happy as you can be. Okay, I know that right now I can't be like, I love life. It's so amazing and beautiful. Yeah, okay. Just let's be as happy as we can be, okay? If it if we can only get to like, if happiness was a scale of one to 10 and we can only get to a six today, dang, that's pretty good. Maybe tomorrow we'll hit seven. If you can only get to a two, just get to two, okay? Be as happy as you can be. Number four, be patient. Everything is coming together. <sighs> Inhale, exhale, be patient. Your beautiful life isn't going to manifest straight overnight because you just took the last decade to be a bitch, right? So <laughs> you're going to have to unbitch. You're going to have to undo, unravel this negativity. So be patient. Now that you're taking steps with positive intention, 
It's gonna all come together. Number five, start telling the universe what you want instead of what you don't want, okay? Universe is clear what you don't want. However, it's still giving it to you because the universe delivers. The universe does not judge. The universe does not think, well, this would be better for her. No, the universe just gives you what you think about. So start telling the universe what you want. Start thinking about what you want. Start focusing on what you want instead of what you don't want. Number six, when you can't find the sunshine, be the sunshine. So everything in your life sucks. Got it. <laughs> There's another hair. I have to get it out. If you, if there's nothing to be happy about, if there's no sun, there's no light, you be the sunshine. You be the light, okay? You be you. You be the thing that you find beautiful and appreciate. Number seven, the most reliable way to predict the future is to create it. So, yep, we can ask the cards hey, what's, what's um, the outlook for me? What's, what's in store for me? What's next? But the most reliable way to predict the future is to create it yourself, okay? You don't need to be like, oh, I don't know what the future is going to bring. Well, yeah, you do when you're the manifester, you're the creator. You are deliberately focusing on what you want, so you kind of pretty much know what you're going to get. Number eight, give yourself something to look forward to that isn't a person. Give yourself a project. Give yourself an event. Give yourself an experience. Give yourself something to look forward to that isn't a person. Quit putting all your <laughs> hope into people because they're going to let you down. <laughs> Just give yourself something to look forward to that isn't a person. Number nine, stop and remember. Whatever is going on in your mind is what you are attracting. Dang, calling yourself out. Stop yourself in the middle of that thought and say, ah, snap. This is what I'm attracting. So whatever is going on in your mind today, right now, Right now, it's what you're attracting. So if we take 10 minutes and think positive thoughts every day, then at least for 10 minutes of today, we are attracting positive things, right? So when you say your positive affirmations, believe them, okay? Only say positive affirmations that you can actually buy, you know, um, so that you can be like, yeah, yeah, I do appreciate breathing. <laughs> if that's all you can do, that's all you can do. But yeah, stop to remember what is going on in your mind is what you are attracting. Number 10, spend your life doing strange things with weird people. <laughs> so find your tribe, find somebody and, you know, do what you are inspired to do. Number 11, what if you simply devoted this year to loving yourself more? What if you simply devoted this next year to loving yourself more and getting yourself into a better place? Who are you even going to be in a year? You're going to be, <clears throat> you're not even going to recognize yourself if you devote an entire year to loving yourself more. <sighs> Number 12, appreciation is the secret to life. Become a person who appreciates and you will thrive. You will fulfill your reason for being. Number 13, wherever you are, be all there. Hell yeah present moment. Be there. Be all there. If it's a crappy moment, don't matter. Be all there. Be fully present. Number 14. Ooh, you must learn a new way to think before you can master a new way to be. Mm. So you want to be different? First, you got to think different. You got to learn a new way to think. Yeah, you got to reprogram yourself. 
the program right now is not working 100%. Like my life is like 88% beautiful. So that other 12%, I need to clean it up, reprogram it, learn a new way to think, and then I will master a new way to be. All right, 15. <laughs> Uh, for sure, number 15, do what you can with what you have where you are. Do what you can with what you have where you are. Number 16, do something creative every day. So even if we have to go apply for that job at Dollar General because um, you want a paycheck, that you know fills up your pocket <laughs> more than change you still have to do something creative every day and you can do what you can with what you have where you are moving on number 17 be how you want to be be how you want to be in my moment last night of you know that's n having a moment of rage and just wanting to crush, that is not how I want to be, okay? Thank God I can still control myself, but that don't matter. I felt it inside, and that's not how I want to be. So just be how you want to be. You wanna be happy, be happy. You wanna be loving, be loving. You wanna be that person that, that, that feels appreciation, then start complimenting people. Start feeling appreciation for people, and bam, Abracazam, all of a sudden, you will be that. 18, make everything around you beautiful. Mm. You looking for a job, honey? <laughs> make everything around you beautiful. Let's start with that right now. Number 19, love who you are. Love who you have become. This is unconditional self-love just love who you are all parts of you even that part of you love who you have become you are not who you were 10 years ago 20 years ago hell you're not even who you were last week so love who you have become 20 you deserve good things you deserve good things 21 Think happy thoughts. Think happy thoughts. <laughs> 22, you don't have to explain anything to anybody about anything, okay? You just keep on thinking your happy thoughts because you know you deserve good things. 23, it is time to start trusting yourself. It is time to start trusting yourself. 24, unlock yourself from the status quo, drift free and be open. So unlock yourself from expectations and what you think you need or should do. Drift free and be open. It's time to start trusting yourself. Ouch, 25, a bad attitude can literally block love and blessings from finding you. Don't be the reason you don't succeed. Yeah, you could be the reason you're not succeeding <clears throat> with your bad attitude. So negativity literally blocks love and blessings from finding you. So don't be the reason and don't use other people as your reasons either. Don't let negativity block love and blessings. 26, abundance grows from the seed of every thank you. Abundance grows from the seed of every thank you. 27, Stop yourself in the middle of a negative emotion and ask yourself, is this worth giving up my life force? Is this negative emotion right here, right now, this little annoyance that I'm feeling, is it worth me giving up my power, my energy, my focus? Is it worth it? Psh, hell no. 28, joy 
is the ultimate trophy. The amount of joy in your life is the ultimate trophy, the ultimate goal. <laughs> 29, a roomy quote. You wander from room to room hunting for the diamond necklace that is already around your neck. Number 30, talk only about what you want. Like for real, talk only about what you want. Just if, you know, if I start complaining, I just need to <laughs> put my foot in my mouth if I could. Um, like really, come on now girl, talk only about what you want. Because, number 31, people will like you exactly as much as you like you. So you want more love in your life, then you need to love yourself. People will like you exactly to the degree as much as you like you. So if it seems like nobody likes you right now, ask yourself, do I even like myself? 32. Everything that you need will come to you at the perfect time. You will be taken care of. Everything you need will come to you at the perfect time. 33. Align with yourself. Connect with nature. Feel the love of the universe. <laughs> yeah, number 33 is the ultimate to-do list on the daily. Align with yourself. Connect with nature. Feel the love of the universe. All right, tea break. Reading out loud, you need to, I don't know, your voice gets drier when you're reading words other than just, rather than just talking. It's weird. All right, here we go. Number 34. Stop talking about your problems. Talk only about your joys. Yeah, seriously, like it's, oh, you got problems? Yeah, let's talk about them. But why do we keep the joy inside? Why do we like not just discuss how much joy we have? Do you want people to remember you as a complainer or someone who like really, truly loved life and talked about their joy? So just do your best this weekend. Stop talking about your problems. Talk only about your joys. 35. May you know you are worthy. May you know it. You are worthy. <sighs> 36. Take care of the earth and she will take care of you. Mm. <laughs> I will always work Gaia into anything I'm doing. That is who I work for. Let us take care of the earth. She will take care of us. Number 37, open your mouth only if what you're about to say is more beautiful than silence. Like for real, if not, just shut the F up. This is a note to myself. Like, come on now. You want to put good in the world, right? You want to make ripples of love and light. Open your mouth only if what you're about to say is more beautiful than silence. Thank you, Pinterest, for that one. <laughs> 38. Laugh till your stomach hurts. <laughs> yeah, um, well, let's just take a minute here and laugh. Uh, maybe in where you live, they offer those laugh therapy classes that I saw. Like, is that really true? Are people getting together and just laughing for no reason? <laughs> I could do it. I should do it. I should just do it on my own. Actually, I used to do it more and I kind of got out of that habit of letting myself get goofy for no damn reason. So just laugh to your stomach hurts, whether you have a reason or not. Maybe watch something funny. I don't know. Nothing really makes me laugh. So I have to like pretty much just conjure it inside myself, you know, just laugh. <laughs> <laughs> All right, number 39. Do things to generate mood rather than stimulate thought. So if you're kind of struggling with thinking positive thoughts, just try to do something to generate mood. Generate that easy, lighthearted mood. 
Um, you know, because if you can't get a wrangle, you cannot get a hold of those thoughts. Um, let's just bypass the thoughts and go to mood. So do things to generate mood rather than stimulate thought. And then uh, hopefully your, your mind will catch up. Number 40, <clears throat> a question to ask yourself, which thought feels better? Okay, does it feel better to hate or does it feel better to appreciate? You always have a choice inside your mind. So ask yourself which thought feels better and then obviously go with the better feeling thought. 41, take a deep breath and let it go. Let it go, let it go, let it go, let it go. 42, if it doesn't nourish your soul, get rid of it. If it doesn't nourish your soul, get rid of it. 43, mm. chill out and let your blessings in. Chill out, chill the F out and let your blessings in. Let them in. 44. Okay, here we go. Number 44 says, tell a different story about your life and the universe will match your new story. All right, so here it is. From this point on, I've definitely spilled the tea with you plenty here. I've given you all the dirt. But you know what? I really got to start telling a different story about my life because that's the story I want the universe to match. So starting next week, <clears throat> note to self, I'm going to take a couple days off here for the weekend. Starting next week, I want to show up on the daily with my gratitude list. Ugh, did I just really commit to this? So I need to start writing in my gratitude journal or maybe refer to my older one, older entries, but actually I'd really like to start fresh, but whatevs. I need to start telling you 10 things every episode that I am grateful for and I appreciate or made me laugh or made me sing or I thought were really freaking funny in a good, good, good way, not just because he tripped and fall on his face. Like, no, like these are actually genuinely kind, good things. Maybe share those with you. I'm going to start telling a different story at least once during my episodes <laughs> about my life so the universe will match my new story. I want to tell you that good things are coming to me. I want to tell you that something did come to me that was really, really good. And hey, like I appreciated this or that. And uh, yeah, we'll see if my life starts to suck less. Number 45. Take time to do what makes your soul happy. So yeah, on that gratitude roll, there needs to be so many things that made my soul so happy. So take the time today and every day to do what makes your soul happy. 46. Everything you need will come to you at the perfect time. And everything means everything, even the lessons. Even the mirroring that points out where you have, have strayed, where it points out where you need to improve upon, the stuff that you don't like will be shown to you at the perfect time. The good stuff will come to you at the perfect time. Everything you need will come to you at the perfect time. Number 47, <laughs> smile, big smile. Just put on a fake smile right now, ready? Smile. Be so happy that when others look at you, they become happy too. For most of my podcast, I am smiling. And I think you can feel that. So when other people get to lay eyes on you, be so happy that when they see you, they become happy too. 48. Ooh. You do not attract what you want. You attract what you are. You don't attract what you want, honey. You attract what you are. 
So if you're not attracting what you want, then you need to be different. Be how you want to be. Because it is how you are being that is what you are attracting. How you are feeling, what you are thinking. It don't matter that you want your gorgeous new life. You have to start living and pretending and feeling and acting and living now that you already are, right? You already are living a beautiful life and then more of that will find you. 49, don't just talk about it, be about it. Walk your talk. Don't just talk about it. Don't just talk about having more positive thought. Be about it. Actually do it. Do it. 50, just another reminder do not speak of that which you do not want. It takes a little discipline. Hopefully, we're going to do it. Do not speak of that which you do not want. 51. You are a magnet attracting onto you that which you are thinking and feeling. Remember, you are a magnet attracting onto you that which you are thinking and feeling. So, number 52. Do more of what makes you happy. Do more of what makes you happy. 53. Fall in love with taking care of yourself. Mind, body, spirit. Fall in love with taking care of yourself. 54. Don't talk about who you were. Talk about who you are becoming. Don't talk about who you were. Talk, talk about who you are becoming. 55. Worrying is using your imagination to create something you don't want. So yeah, these are all very popular posts. If they're sounding familiar, yeah, thank you, Pinterest. <laughs> I, didn't, I didn't give anyone, anyone um, credit for anything in this book. But yeah, you've heard this. Worrying is using your imagination, a misuse of your imagination. You're creating things you don't want with those worrisome thoughts. So let us dispel them. 56. Let people do what they need to do to make them happy. Mind your own business and do what you need to do to make you happy. Can you let other people live their life? Can you let them do what they need to do to make themselves happy and just mind your own damn business so you can focus on doing what you need to do to make you happy? 57, darling, don't forget to fall in love with yourself first. So if you want a gorgeous relationship in your life, first you need to be in love with yourself before you can be in love with anyone else proper. <laughs> 58. Choose to be happy because it is good for your health. I choose happiness today because it is good for my health. 59. Train your mind to see the good in everything. Okay? We have undisciplined minds. That's why we that's why things get screwed up. We have to clarify our minds, purify our minds, and discipline our minds. They're our minds. Get in there. Be in control in there. It is your mind. <laughs> 60. There is nothing more important than you feel good. There's nothing more important than you feel good. 61. Give no thought to the unmade beds of your past, no matter what they are. So yeah, let us stop dwelling in the past. Let us be forward thinking. Number 62. You only have one life, just one. Now nah, that's debatable, but hey. For right now, you just have this life. Just this one. Why aren't you running like you are on fire towards your wildest dreams? You're alive. You're in a body. Why aren't you running like you're on fire towards your wildest dreams? Like nothing can stop you from this. 
63, you are as happy as you make your mind up to be. How happy do you want to be? Make up your mind. How happy? You want to be a little happy? You want to be big happy or little happy? You are as happy as you make your mind up to be. Number 64, your life is right now. It's not in the past. It's not in the future. It is right now. 65, if you can visualize it, you have the ability to manifest it. If you can visualize it, you have the ability to manifest it. 66. You <laughs> All right, here we're getting our first laugh. 66. You were given this life because you are strong enough to handle it. <laughs> Who's throwing up double birds with me? All right. You were given this life because you are strong enough to handle it. You are strong enough to handle these challenges and you wanted them, honey, because you know that you are strong enough to overcome them, learn your lessons, feel the blessings. 67. Don't forget to be awesome. Like as you make your to-do list, <laughs> as you blow the hair off of your desk, <laughs> Don't forget to be awesome. All right, now that's just my own hair. I'm starting to play with my hair. We got to focus here. Don't forget to be awesome. Number 68. Collect moments, not things. So yeah, no retail therapy for me this weekend. I'm looking to collect moments of experience, not things. 69. You are so loved. <laughs> now remember, this was a game for my friends and I knew there would be some, some smart ass that would always just pick 69 because he thought that was funny. So 69 is you are so loved. 70. You are not powerless. You are powerful. Not full, full. <laughs> Don't be a powerful, be powerful. <laughs> you are not powerless. You are powerful. You have a powerful mind. Look at all this craziness it created. Now use your powerful mind to create the life you want. 71, step up and shine. Step up to the plate of your life. Play the game. Play the game and shine and see where it gets you. You're going to be impressed. You really are. Number 72. Let's just be who we really are. Okay? As you're shining, be your, your authentic self. Let's just be who we really are. Okay? Quit, quit trying to be something that society Think, makes you think that you should be. Let's just be who we really are. Really. Who you really are is fun. <laughs> Three more, you guys. 73. Don't let anyone ever dull your sparkle. Okay? You need to step up and shine and sparkle and gleam and glisten. No matter who, no matter what hater is throwing shade. It doesn't matter anymore. They don't matter. You're the only one in the room. Okay? I'm like, literally, you're actually the only one here. Um, don't let anyone ever dull your sparkle. 74. When life gives you lemons, keep them. Because, hey, free lemons. <laughs> and speaking of that, I did drink my lemon water today. I am so glad that I'm getting back on that daily self-care habit just a little bit just a little bit of lemon water goes a long way so yeah if life hands you lemons gives you lemons keep them because hey free lemons and last but certainly not least last and certainly most do all things with love do all things with love love. You are love, so be love 
and do everything that you can do with love. Stay in that place of love so much. Just close your eyes right now. Put your hand on your heart. Put the other one around your belly. <laughs> Put one hand on your chest, okay, in the middle of your chest. Your, not your beating heart, your energy heart. Just grab your whole chest. I'm a small person. I can pretty much almost grab my whole, whole, whole um, heart area. And I can actually put my arm around myself. Hold yourself right now and close your eyes and say, I am love. I'm going to be love. I'm going to feel love. I'm going to give love. I'm going to do all things with love because that is what I am. I came from love. I am love. I'm going to love. I'm going to look for things to love, to appreciate, to feel good about. I'm going to give love, and then I am going to receive love because I am love. <sighs> okay, so I just took a considerable break to receive a phone call from my mom who let me know all the bullshit she has been manifesting in her life. Although she doesn't see it as her, her bullshit. She blames the Verizon store. <laughs> hey, what is very interesting in her life and my life um, with her phone saga and my marital saga is we kind of were in the same boat two years ago. Um, two years ago, my mom actually like lost all of her contacts when she did an upgrade on her phone and freaked out. And now here, two years later, she's doing... The same thing again so I'm kind of curious like if there are other people who two years ago had something going on and then come back around here it is like astrologically I think there is something that has repeated itself and if there we didn't clear it up two years ago it has resurfaced um, to be dealt with or I don't know it just I'm curious I'm curious let me know <laughs> all right so <clears throat> Sorry, mom, I hope you get your 1,234 contacts back. One, two, three, four. <laughs> so I had to remind my mom to get out of her head. She's falling for the illusion. And, um, you know, who needs that many contacts anyways? But yeah, I don't really know if I brought her any comfort, but I did lend an ear, half an ear, I'm still clogged. My ear is still clogged. So I lent her half a ear. Okay, so I want to grab the Soul Flower deck because it's been fun hanging out, reading the quotes, and you know, reminding ourselves that it's dangerous to be hating. It's dangerous to leave what you hate without cleaning up the energy first. So let's um, think positive thoughts today. Let's uh, really make intentions, but let's get um, two flower friends to be with us today and this weekend. So I'm shuffling the Soul Flower deck. The Plant Spirit Oracle deck, Soul Flower. Let's see what we've got. I was thinking maybe I was gonna shuffle forever. All right, let me put them face down. I love the backs of these cards. I don't know if I've ever talked about them. But there's quite a few different colors, but they've all got these dandelion seeds floating and the watercolor, beautiful. Okay, so we have a yellowish one and a greenish one. It also has like bluish ones and a couple other different variations. They're very, 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 very pretty cards. We have hydrangea, good God. We cannot get away from hydrangea this week. Um, hydrangea has a message of transmutation. So thank you, Hydrangea. I'm glad we can't get away from you because we can't seem to get away from our thoughts either. So we need some help in transmuting our negative to positive. So, or even negative to neutral and then to positive, right? We, we need some help transmuting our thoughts this weekend. So thank you so much for showing up and along with Periwinkle, mm. my favorite color crayon when I was a kid, periwinkle. <laughs> so these cards are like hovering all over the 
the there must be some static energy they won't even be still these two cards so i'm going to shove them together so they can anchor oh they look good butted up one next to each other um periwinkle is all about intertwining so let's see what we've got here hydrangea says we are all affected by our environment hydrangea reminds you to reclaim your power through the transmuting of emotions and releasing of victimization <laughs> maybe i should call my mom back and read her this card <laughs> she'd be like shut up sadie <laughs> So she probably would not um, appreciate this, but she's got to stop being a victim. We all do. You not only have the ability to overcome perceived obstacles, you can extinguish them by realizing you can move through them. So whatever bullshit's going on in your life, um, just know that you can move through it. Okay, it's not even overcoming. We're going to actually go through them. We're not going to avoid. We're going to deal with and move through. So transmuting our negative um, thoughts. Next time that comes up, next time that thought jumps in your head, be aware of it. I see you. What do you need from me? Um, what are you trying? What do you need? Right. Ask your negative thought. What do you need? Let's let's figure this out. Periwinkle is all about intertwining. All is well. These little beautiful blue flowers say, all is well. All is as it should be. Periwinkle is here helping you to weave together all of the lessons and experiences of the past and all the wisdom gained so that you can move forward with understanding, compassion, and forgiveness. Growth is assured as you find the courage to examine and explore new facets of yourself. Okay, so this is an awesome weekend forecast. We are going to move through this crap. When we get to Monday, we're going to be like, wow, that was old news. Like, thanks for listening to the first 20 podcasts or whatever of Herb Oracle, but that was old news. Like, now we are, we have moved past that. We are transmuting these thoughts and this energy and working through stuff. So, yeah, don't be afraid to really get into your experience. Like, what am I really learning here? Even if it is just a lesson of miscreation, and a lesson that we need to be more forgiving and more compassionate and have a greater understanding. Let's step out of the small minds this weekend. Let's take a step back, rise up above yourself and see your life from a greater perspective. You don't need to be caught, you don't need to own the drama, okay? Yeah, you can rise up and witness it playing out and understand that this is for your greater self there is something to be gained to be benefited to be learned to be experienced what is it hone in on that and you will feel appreciation for everything okay so thank you so much for hanging out with me have a great, 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 great weekend. We've got two flower friends reminding us of so many beautiful things. Thank you, Hydrangea. Thank you, Periwinkle. Let us intertwine all of the lessons, and I mean all of them. And really, let's move forward, um, transmuting these emotions and releasing um, this victimization. We are powerful, not powerless. And we have the power and the ability to create our lives. So this weekend, let's remember to appreciate, don't hate. Appreciate, don't hate. Don't be hating, be appreciating. <laughs> so yeah, we got the two flower friends. We did 75 positive quotes with commentary 
we had a solid hangout and um, I will see you Monday bright and early and um, I'm excited to see who we even are in a few days. So let's be serious about doing our work. Let's be serious about feeling joy and having fun and looking at things in a positive light. And let's be serious about actually looking at the negative stuff that's coming up and going on. Let's have a good look at it so that it doesn't come back around again in a couple more years. Let's deal with this shit now and um, transmute it for sure. So yeah, we're all intertwined. We're all having this beautiful experience of life. When I say you're the only one in the room, even with other people, know that you, there is only one. We are all one. So let's help everyone around us to do their work and their growth because it totally supports the all. So with that, you guys, so much love. Thank you.